We have in Spain, from, from day one, we've been trying to anticipate what may come and be prepared in advance. I think that's proven to be the right strategy. And we have already established a framework that would support people through the autumn, anticipating what could happen if Putin would cut down, down gas supplies, as, as was the case first of September. And now we're preparing for the winter. So, in fact, these three billion are just uh, targeting aid to some parts of our society that were not previously covered. For example, big buildings which have flats and uh, with with gas for the heating systems for the winter. You know, some some areas which had not previously been protected. But this is a very targeted and temporary approach, so perfectly fitting the recommendations of international institutions. So you don't see this as being inflationary in oh, any not sense? All. Nothing, no, no, not nothing at all. for the European Central Bank to be concerned no, about? No, no, on the contrary. Um, it's, it's really trying to ensure that the benefits of reducing the cost of, of gas for the heating systems for the winter mm. would cover the most vulnerable parts of our population. There's clearly a difference in the scale. I mean, we're talking about 3 billion vs 200 billion in the context of Germany. Why were you so alarmed by that plan? Well, actually, Spain has probably been one of the countries that has uh, been most respectful in the sense that I understand that Germany is really at the forefront. They're most directly impacted. They are heavily dependent on Russian gas. So I think we have to understand that some decisions need to be taken in order to address the urgent matters. But I think at the end of the day, what we need is a global response and in any case, a European response to what is a global challenge. Do you feel that there is discipline on the fiscal side across the Eurozone at the moment? I, I was speaking with Pierre Wunsch, the, the Belgian uh, central bank governor, and he said, you know, something European um, politicians need to understand is if they keep spending and they keep coming up with special reasons for additional disbursements to ease the pain of this energy crisis, we will have to keep raising interest rates and inevitably the pain ultimately will be higher. Do you think that's been taken on board by everybody? Well, certainly, and I couldn't agree more. I think we need to articulate a good coordination of fiscal and monetary policies. This is something we, we have already discussed at the G20 meetings. We will surely talk a lot about this in the IMF uh, C meetings uh, because we need to coordinate our economic policies. Otherwise, uh, indeed, monetary policy may overshoot, you know, and have a more negative impact in terms of growth. In the case of Spain, we are clearly aligned with fiscal responsibility. We, are, we have been prudent when preparing our budget for 2023. The tax receipts have been growing a, a lot in the country, but we are prudent with our forecast. And we have also been focusing more and more expenditure on investment in order to make sure that this is a, a actually reinforcing fiscal sustainability in the mid-run.